Hello everyone. Welcome back to YoYo -Yo videos. Today, we have something truly special for you, a journey into the heart of Kerala's untamed beauty. I am your Yogesh and we are about to embark on an exciting adventure through Kerala's wildlife sanctuaries. 1. Chinar Wildlife Sanctuary Chinar Wildlife Sanctuary is located on the State Highway 17 and is 18 kilometers to the north of the Mario town in the Idukki district. It covers an area of about 90 sq kilometer and with 225 documented species of birds and is a delight for the bird watchers. The major highlight of the sanctuary is the endangered grizzled giant squirrels which scamper around the dry thorny forest in good numbers. Other species composing the fauna of the park are spotted deer, tiger, bonnet macaque, gore, elephants and nilgiri teher. A major population of mugger crocodiles of Kerala dwell in Chinar, snakes and Indian star tortoise make up rest of the reptilian population. Being situated in the rain shadow region of the Western Ghats, Chinar Wildlife Sanctuary receives less than two months of rain annually. So the prominent type of flora is made up of the dry thorny scrubs. Best time to visit December to April. 2. Arabiculum National Park Spread over 100 sq km, Arabiculum National Park is situated in the Idukki district along the Western Ghats. It is at a distance of 13 km from the northeast side of Munnar and provides an abode to the Nigiri Teher, an endangered mountain goat. During the British era, the hunting expeditions brought this friendly and unsuspecting creature onto the verge of extinction. Through the conservation efforts of the Kerala Department of Forests and Wildlife, the species was brought back to a respectable count of 750 approx. Apart from Nilgiri Teher, Around 25 other species of mammals inhabit the Arabiculum National Park including the tiger, leopard, golden jackal, Indian muntjac, and less known species like Indian porcupine, small clawed otter and nilgiri langur. Around 132 kinds of birds brighten up the surroundings of the park with their presence. Best time to visit April to June and September to November are considered ideal for exploring the park. 3. Kumarko Bird Sanctuary This bird sanctuary is a heaven for all the bird lovers and ornithologists. Besides the fascinating Indian varieties of birds, like egret, cormorant, brahmani kite, waterfowl and heron, the place is also a cherished haunt of many splendid migratory birds like Siberian stork, darter, teal and egret. Kumarko Bird Sanctuary is also called Vimbanad Lake Bird Sanctuary because it is located on the eastern bank of the Vimbanad Lake. This lake is the largest freshwater lake in Kerala and also the longest in India. Many species of coastal and freshwater fishes are found in Vimbana. Located on an island, one needs a boat to reach it. One can escalate the pleasure derived from bird watching by exploring the park through a cruise over the beautiful Vimbanad Lake in a hired motor boat or houseboat. While planning your wildlife tours to Kerala don't miss to add this sanctuary into your schedule. Best time to visit period between June and August is considered as a good time to visit, however November to February is the time when most of the migratory birds flock to the sanctuary. 4. Periyar Wildlife Sanctuary Situated in the Thekkadi town, Periyar Wildlife Sanctuary falls in the Idukki and Pathanamthita districts of Kerala. The Periyar Lake, which was originally built as a water reservoir, is the heart of the sanctuary. The park encircles the 26 sq km lake and provides an opportunity to the visitors to sail around in a boat, admiring the marvelous wonders of the nature, which are gifted all over, abundantly. Southwestern Ghats Cardamom and Pandalam hills and slopes provide the perfect habitat to the splendid creatures like the Bengal tiger, Indian elephant, Sambhar, Gars, Malabar giant squirrel, flying squirrel, viper, Fret, woodpecker, grackle, kingfisher and many more. 
The park is also a tiger reserve, making the mighty tiger the most significant feature of the park, followed by the wild Asian elephants. The park is surrounded by the beautiful plantations of tea, coffee and cardamom, giving the whole atmosphere a magnificent feel to pacify all the disturbed nerves of a human being. Best Time to Visit November to April 5. Silent Valley National Park Silent Valley is a 90 sq km of rainforest, which may not rank among the famous wildlife sanctuaries of Kerala but it's one of the most natural and unspoilt rainforests in the entire subcontinent. The Silent Valley National Park is situated in the Palakkad district and placed over the enchanting Nilgiri Hills. Lion-tailed macaque is a primate that is endemic to the Western Ghats of South India and Silent Valley provides a habitat to maximum number of these existing wanderers. Other wild creatures of the valley include leopard, sloth bear, malabar giant squirrel, niligiri langur, spotted deer, mouse deer and gong. Many species of rare and endangered birds, like malabar parakeet, great Indian hornbill, grey-headed bulbul, pale harrier, rufous babbler and malabar pied hornbill also curtail the silence of the silent valley. Best time to visit November to March 6. Thattekar Bird Sanctuary Thattekar Bird Sanctuary is an evergreen lowland forest situated in the Kotmangalam Taluk of Irnakulam district. Extending in an area of 25 sq km, the park occupies the northern shore of the Periyar River and is the first established bird sanctuary in Kerala. The picturesque and tranquil environment of the park provides an ideal place for the birds to flourish. A much respected name in the field of ornithology, Salim Ali, declared the park as the richest bird habitat on peninsular India. Numerous species, around 500, of both forest and water birds stay in or visit the park in various seasons, including jungle fowl, shrike, sunbird, white-breasted water hen, hornbill, bee-eater, black-winged kite and night heron. Apart from the birds, a few species of mammals and reptiles are also found in the periphery of the Thattekar Bird Sanctuary. Best Time to Visit May and July 7. Vinard Sanctuary The Vinard Sanctuary has been divided into two separate wildlife sanctuaries, Muthanga and Tholpeti. The area between south and north portions of Vinard Reserve is now primarily covered by the plantations. Both the reserves occupy 344 sq km, approx, of area. Founded in 1973, the Vinard Sanctuary is an important part of the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve. Moist deciduous and semi-evergreen forest-type vegetation provides a suitable lush green abode to the thriving wildlife of Vinard. The Vinard Sanctuary is recognized under Protect Elephant Project and hence sighting of roaming herds of elephants is not uncommon. Other wild animals dwelling in the park include tiger, Indian bison, monitor lizards, wild dogs, panthers and civet cats. Around 216 species of birds like black woodpecker, babbler, painted bush quail and paria kite can be seen in the park. Best time to visit June to October 8. Mangalavnam Bird Sanctuary Mangalavnam Bird Sanctuary is an ecologically significant zone in the heart of the city of Kochi. The sanctuary contains a mangrove forest, which provides an abode to various resident and migratory birds, which flock to the reserve in good numbers with every change in the season. The most frequently sighted species of birds are little cormorant and black round night heron. The total area of the park is 2.74 hectare, there is a small pond, which is covered by mangroves by its borders. Mangrove and semi-mangrove vegetation provide shelter to the resident and migrant birds. A few species of the mammals, amphibians and fishes also find their habitat in the bird sanctuary. Situated right in the middle of a noisy city, Mangalavnam provides a paradise for the feathered creatures that struggle to find space among the concrete jungle created by the man. 
It is an ideal destination to plan a short wildlife holiday. Best time to visit, May and June are the months in which maximum numbers of species congregate in the park and thus, an ideal time to plan a tour. 9. Arlam Wildlife Sanctuary Covering an area of 55 sq km, the Arlam Wildlife Sanctuary is located on the western slopes of the Western Ghats. The altitude of the hills varies from 50 m to 1145 m and a tropical to semi-evergreen forests envelop their surfaces. Set up in 1984, the Erlam Wildlife Sanctuary is home to various diverse flora and fauna, which are native to the Western Ghats. Erlam is situated in the southeast zone of Kannur district and its wildlife include animals like the jungle cats, bison, elephants, boar, sloth bear, samghar, leopards and different kinds of squirrels. Best time to visit June to October 10. Chimini Wildlife Sanctuary This paradise of the nature boasts of diverse types of forest cover, semi-evergreen, evergreen and most deciduous. Another alluring aspect of the park is the dam, which is constructed on the river Chimini that has also led to formation of a beautiful lake. Located in the Mukundapuram Taluk of Thrissur district, the Chimini Wildlife Sanctuary provides ample opportunities for clubbing a wildlife tour along with the adventure tourism. Trekking and camping in the middle of the lush and serene environment of the park, among the creatures of the wild, promises one of the most thrilling holidays. Chimini Wildlife Sanctuary is spread in an area of 87 sq km and surrounded by two other wildlife sanctuaries at two sites. The rainforest consists of many species of animals including lion-tailed macaque, panther, tiger, wild bison, elephants, bonnet macaque and malabar squirrel. If you are lucky you may also sight two of the largest butterflies of India, Southern Birdwing or Blue Mormon. Best time to visit October If you enjoyed this virtual tour, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell. Share this video with your friends and family who love wildlife and adventure. Thank you for joining us on this wild ride. Until next time, stay curious, stay adventurous, and keep exploring the world's amazing wonders. This is your Yogesh from YoYo Videos, signing off.